Hey Libra, welcome back to my channel. I am an intuitive card reader and this will be a four card spread, having a look to see how your love interest feels about you around this period of March. This reading can be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Four cards um, read more as a story rather than individually um, and having a look to see what they're feeling towards you and your connections. So otherwise, let's have a look, Libra. How do they feel about you? Okay. Okay. They're definitely taking a chance here. There's a bit of nervousness around this person, but they are wanting to jump into things. Now, I feel like the energy that's around them right now, the fool, this is Aries energy. Aries energy likes a challenge, so in one way I feel like you're a bit of a challenge to them, or they something about a chase um, or excitement, because that's what definitely arouses the page of one's energy. Uh, so the fact that the Fool and the Page of Wands have come up, I feel like there's a sense where someone is very excited about getting something started with you. There's an exhilaration that comes with the Fool because you can see he's on the edge of a precipice here. He doesn't really know what he's getting himself into, oftentimes getting himself involved in precarious situations here, risky uh, behavior or behavior that makes this person nervous. So in a lot of ways, they're doing something or something about you that makes them really nervous, um, exhilarated, or really gets their blood pumping uh, in some way here. This is also submission. I definitely feel like they're submission. Basically, the knight and the pages as courtly characters, they submit to kings and superiors and, and take orders from them. So I feel like there's someone that feels you, you've, you've, you've got a hold over them, Libra. Maybe they feel like you've got the upper hand in a relationship. Maybe they feel like they're submitting to you. Um, I don't know if this person feels belittled. I wouldn't say belittled. I don't think any of the other cards are indicating this sort of energy. It's more that they're surrendering or they're submitting to you. And they can't help but do that. I feel like in some ways they're a little bit under your spell here. So you're definitely doing something that has them feeling like they want to submit to you in that way. Okay, the fully submission, it's surrendering. He holds the white rose. Um, it's a sense of adventure, new starts, new beginnings, absolutely. Um, maybe this is with a foreign lover. Maybe this is someone that's a little bit at a distance. It could even be an embarrassing situation. Sometimes the fool can be a naive energy or when we're gullible in certain situations. So it could be that you make someone feel gullible or vulnerable or naive in a way. So this is quite interesting. I do feel like they're very much into you, though. They're willing to do a lot. They're starting to really care. And if they haven't shown you this, you'll definitely see this sort of behavior around this period of March, where they'll start to show that they're willing to do a lot for you. They're possibly even willing to jump through hoops for you. Now, I definitely feel like some of you have someone under your thumb here, someone you can control, uh, someone who you're sort of dictating the relationship somehow. You've got more power, and they're really feeling that. But um, a lot of passion that comes with the Page of Wands, a lot of excitement. There's definitely a very strong infatuation or sexual um, chemistry or link from this person towards you. But the Page of Wands, he does, he does very rash things. And the fact that you have the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles coming up around this person indicates to me you're doing something, you, you've got a very strong power over them in more ways than one. Uh, I don't know if they're moving too fast though, okay? Some of you, the Fool and the Page of Wands can be a little bit irrational, can be a little bit reckless. Sometimes I feel with the Knight of Wands, Knight of uh, Cups energy, this person tries to think about logistically what's what's good, what's what they should be doing. But I'm sensing more. it's more likely than not that they're just so swept up. And it could be quite a smitten energy. And when we're smitten, we often do impulsive things. We often act very quickly. We often want a connection or relationship to happen very, very quickly, to develop fairly quickly. So maybe this is how that person is feeling, like they really want things to develop, okay? Um, 
I don't know if there's a sense of urgency here. They could be wanting to make things happen fairly quickly. Okay, the Knight of Cups is aware of the mountain that he has to climb, the rivers that he has to pass through. So I think they've thought this through, but there could be uh, emotionally, this person could be uh, much further than where you are, Libra. So they could be much further in their connection here. And, you know, the Knight of Pentacles represents the ult ultimate stability. So there's definitely someone here who wants that. But I think in some ways they're acting a little bit out of character or a little bit impulsive here. Again, I think this is the surge of energy that's happening with this person. Something about a chase or a challenge. So if, you, if you've kept this person at arm's length, if you've been mysterious, um, if you've delayed the progression of this connection, then I wouldn't be surprised as to why this behavior is coming up around this person. So, I mean, that would really reveal a lot here, uh, Libra. That would really explain a lot and um, explain the reasons as to why they are behaving the way they are. But there could be someone here with the fool. They feel like a, uh, with the fool. They feel like a fool. Pages are inexperienced. Pages are younger. They're still to be aware of what happens at the court. So there's someone here who feels possibly like they made a fool out of themselves. Possibly like they even jeopardized things, Libra. Possibly that they were reckless, impulsive. And they know they might have upset you or they, it might have changed things for you. So they're aware of that. They're living through that sort of energy right now. They're uh, reassessing things. They're going through repercussions. But I get the vibe that, I mean, with the white flower here, the white dog, I don't know if someone wants to surrender or they want a truce. Peace, truce. Let's be honest. Let's get everything out there on the table. I did this. You did that. We were humiliated. We were upset. We caused this. Could there be someone wanting to apologize here or feel like they need to? Maybe. Um, or maybe you've done something to, to them that ma has made them feel like a fool. Maybe you've tested their patience. Maybe you've um, deceived them. Maybe there's something here where they feel like they were too trusting or they submitted too soon. Or maybe in some ways this person feels like they drew the short end of the sticky Libra. So it's a very interesting dynamic here. But I think there's something that has definitely happened, at least for this person, that has shifted the dynamic. I mean, sometimes the fool can be apologetic or needs to be apologetic. And maybe that white flower is what symbolizes that so there could be someone wanting to reach out wanting to apologize wanting to rectify things maybe they feel they need to rectify things maybe they're expecting you to address the issue here and change things there could be expectations here also the knight of cups i feel like there might be a confession an expression of love a confession of a secret a confession of them feeling vulnerable So there could be that they want to confess something deep and very personal about them, about your connection, about how they're feeling. And maybe they might express that um, vulnerability, that emotional vulnerability that comes with the Knight of Cups. Maybe they want to express that. Um, all these characters, well, most of these characters point to the right, which is the future. And then you've got the fool looking back. I don't know if some way this person feels foolish that... Something about their past, okay, could be about exes, could be about something that happened in their relationship. Maybe you, they feel like you can't move past it and they, they feel like a fool thinking that. They feel like a fool for trusting again. They feel like a fool like maybe you're still involved with an ex, maybe they are. It's not always exes, but it might be something in the past that caused humiliation, that caused foolish behavior, that caused recklessness in a connection. Maybe this person is still thinking about that. Maybe there's someone that they there's something that they can't exactly move past, and there's a lot of dwelling and focus and attention happening on this, whether it was caused by them or you, Libra. And maybe that's the sort of mind state they're in around this period of March, uh, channeling in this to, uh, in this reading here. So, I mean, I will leave it at that, Libra. But I do hope it's given you some sort of insight. Thank you again for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Please make sure you leave behind a like, a share, a subscribe. That would be absolutely appreciated. Thank you so much and. We will catch up soon. Thanks again, everyone. Bye for now.